Today we're making peri peri chicken using your own peri peri sauce in the steel air wood fired oven. Oh, can't wait for this one guys. Let's go. Welcome, I'm Kay. This is my first YouTube video and I'm excited to show you what I can do with the steel, steel air outdoor uh, cooking equipment. Um, today I'm going to make one of my favorites for my first YouTube video and I'm going to make a, a peri peri chicken using my own peri peri sauce which I'll show you guys how to make it with saddleback potatoes as a side and it's all going to be done in the steel air wood fired oven. It's a great piece of equipment and I'm really excited to show you how this beast works. Come, let's go for it. Cheers. Okay, now that we've made this fantastic homemade peri-peri, I've bottled the excess peri-peri. Um, if you're going to bottle and keep it, make sure that your bottles are uh, sterilized. You can do that just with some boil, boiling water. Fill them up, close them. It should preserve them for a while. I've got the excess peri-peri here. Oh, just that looks so good. Like I mentioned earlier, you must just decide in terms of the ingredients... Um, on the below body of this uh, YouTube video how much chili and lemon to add to give you a bit of that taste that you prefer but this is a well all-round uh, uh, peri-peri it's a little bit on the hot side but that's I think what I like as mentioned before I'm going to spatchcock these chickens and I'm going to do one in a lemon butter and one in a peri-peri um, spatchcocking a chicken I'm sure you guys are a uh, uh, a uh, bit aware of it, you're looking for the the spine here, you cut on either side of it all the way through and then on this side you could use probably use uh, scissors in terms of this as well, it'll, it'll help take that spine piece out turn the ch chicken on the other side and press down on the breasts. There's one. And there's the second one. Okay, for the lemon butter chicken, I'm just going to cut up some finely ground uh, uh, garlic. I've already got my uh, batter melted. I'm going to add it to the batter. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of uh, herbs and spices. I'm going to give this one a go now. This is the, the old sto stone mill, Za'ata, Middle Eastern Spice Blend. And I think this should go well with the chicken. Just going to add a pinch or two of that. Or three into the into the mix give it a bit of a stir and obviously then some lemon juice I'll quickly do a little bit of a, a zest add that into the mix Add that into the mix as well. Just 
some lemon juice. One of the ideal things there, like I mentioned before, these lovely stainless steel trays. This is perfect for the wood-fired oven. Um, I'm going to take the chicken. There's more that don't have, so I'll take the larger one. Place it into the tray. And let's just line it with a little bit of olive oil. Put it back into the tray and give it a good waste in the lemon butter. Be sure to get everywhere. I'll keep using this sauce in this tray here now for basting while I'm roasting it in the, the wood fired oven. Alright, that's the lemon butter one day. Put that one over there. And do the same now for our little bit of olive oil. And now with the homemade peri peri sauce. Be generous, we've got tons of this. Get a nice mix in terms of one. Delicious. I'm going to let this sit for a few hours. Still a bit early for dinner today, so I'll let these both sit just at room temperature for an hour or two. Have a brandy. Cheers, and get the potatoes ready. Okay, now for the Hasselback potatoes as a side, just got some small baby potatoes, I'm going to lay them down long ways like this, and I'm going to cut across the potato about every 5 millimeters, not all the way through, I'm using a chopstick here just as a stopper, so that I don't cut all the way through the potato, you still want to keep it in terms of its shape, but you want to cut down to about 5 millimeter from the bottom as well, so just 5 millimeter e equal slices all the way through the potato. I'll finish up with this one now and then uh, I'll finish up with the rest of them yeah and then we'll do the drizzle on sauce. Okay I've prepared all my potatoes we're now going to allow them into a baking tray uh, cut up some of the drip sauce this is now going to be the drip sauce you guys are going to use uh, once you've uh, cooked the potatoes just before serving, you'll drizzle this on. I've got parsley, basil, garlic, and chives. So it's about a tablespoon of each into a mix with four tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to now, just in terms of cooking, put about three tablespoons over the potatoes. Time to fire up the oven. This is the Steely Large Wood Fired Oven. Phenomenal piece of equipment for outside. Nice and solid. Double layer insulated, grade 304 stainless steel. That is an absolute dream to work with. We're going to now get it fired and started and ready for that peri peri chicken. Okay, what I love about this oven is that you get the, all the juice of a, um, a roast, but you get that wood flavor like a bra. The Hasselback potatoes have come out deliciously, and it looks like these chickens are perfect. Still juicy. Oh, just ready to eat. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. 